Hey guys, it's Riley with DIY Things That Fly, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of the TBS Tango remote. So on the bottom of the remote, there's a power button. The power button will only turn the remote on if you hold it down for a few seconds, and the reason for that is to prevent accidentally turning the remote on in your bag or something. On the left, there are the three buttons to control which channel your video receiver is viewing. Up and down will go up and down channels in whatever band you're in. If you keep hitting up, eventually you'll pass the band. And scan will scan channels. This transmitter has access to all five commonly used bands. So that's A, B, E, um, airwave, and race band. Also on the bottom, there's an ethernet connector. And with the cable that's included in the Tango package, you can connect your goggles, your FetchR goggles, into the Tango and view it in case your goggles don't have a receiver or the receiver inside can't access the band or channel you're trying to reach. Personally, when I fly, I connect my goggles into the Tango because I can just get much better range out of this than I can with the built-in FetchR module. These are your trims. They're pretty self-explanatory. And up top, we've got all the switches. So there's two three-position switches, the outermost switches, and two two-position switches the innermost switches. Up at the top there's two scroll knobs. I'm not really sure what the proper term for these are, but there's two of those, as you guys can see. On a side note, sorry it's all beaten up guys, I teach a drone camp every year with 11 to 13 year olds, and I was letting them use the Tango this year, and they did a pretty good job on it. Anyways, on the back there's a JR module, which any JR module can slide into. I've been using the crossfire with this. The scrolling wheel over here on the right is also a button. If you hold it down for a few seconds, you'll enter the Tango menu. To scroll up and down, just scroll the wheel. So exit will obviously exit the menu. Under drone, you can add your new models. I only have one model set up right now, it's for my Vendetta. Soon I'll have another one for the alien over here. Under remote, under this sub menu, you can change settings like your stick mode, so if you want to fly mode 1, which I do, I just set it to 2 for the tutorial. If you want to change your RF module, which for me is the crossfire, you're going to turn idle alarm on or off, keep it off, and if you want to change your home channel, which is the channel that your Tango boots up to when you turn it on in the first place. And display, you can change your contrast brightness to you or you can even turn it off. And that's really it for the menu. Let's exit that. Thanks for watching guys and click here if you want to see a video on how to update the settings. And if you like the video, please subscribe.